Hi, my name is Roger and I'm the Aeroid Horticulturist at Carnivoro. This is Amorphophallus titanum. When most people think of Amorphophallus, this is the plant that they're thinking about. The huge mass of inflorescence that smells like a dead body. Um, that's the reason it's been given the common name, the corpse flower. One interesting thing about this plant is that even though it looks like a tree, it's not a tree at all. It's actually only one leaf. If you look at the uh, way the leaf is formed, each one of these are just little leaflets that come off of the uh, much broader leaf here. The trunk of what would be the tree is actually a petiole and like a lot of Amorphophallus species, Titanum has a pattern to it that looks a lot like lichen. This is Amorphophallus atroviridus. We unpotted this so that way you could get a better look at the different parts of this plant. So this here are, is the leaf, the main leaf blade, with each of the smaller leaves being leaflets. This is the petiole. You can see the uh, texture and the patterning that resembles lichen on the stem. And this is the corm. Each year your amorph will die down and this is actually what it makes underneath the soil. Each corm is a different shape between each amorphophallus species. This amorphophallus is glaucophyllus, where this tuber comes from atrovirus. So this is an amorphophallus inflorescence. This here is the spadix. This is the spathe. This section here is called the appendix, and this is where the scent's going to come from. If you look closely, you can see a whole bunch of little dots on there, and that's actually the scent. This here, this section, is the male flowers, and this section down here is the female flowers. So we have a ton of Amorphophallus in our collection, as well as for sale on the website. Some of our favorites are Amorphophallus konjac, Dica sylvae, Lambii, Placatus, Pranii, Gigas, Dracontoides, and Henryi. As we continue to grow out our Amorphalus collection, we'll be sure to keep you all posted.